live from San Jose in the heart of Silicon Valley. It's the Cube covering DataWorks Summit 2018. Brought to you by Hortonworks. Welcome back to the Cube's live coverage of DataWorks here in San Jose, California. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, James Kobielis. We have with us Vimal Enduran. He is the Global Data Business Group Ecosystem Lead at Accenture. He's coming out to us straight from the Motor City. So welcome, Vimal. Thank you, thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, Jim. Looking forward to talk to you in the next 10 minutes. So before, before the cameras were rolling, we were talking about how uh, data veracity and how managers can actually know that the data that they're getting, that they're seeing, is trustworthy. Can you, can, what's your take on that right now? Right, so in the today's age, um, the data is coming at you in a, in a velocity that you never thought about, right? Um, so today, the organizations are gathering data probably in, in, the, in the magnitude of petabytes. And this is a new normal. I mean, you used to talk about gigs, and now it's a petabyte. And the data coming in form of images, video files, from the edge, you know, edge devices, um, sensors, and all social media and everything. So, so the amount of data, this is becoming the, the, the fuel for the new economy, right? So the companies who can, you know, find a way to take advantage and figure out the way to use this data, going to be the, have a competitive advantage over their competitors. So from, for that purpose, even though it's coming at that volume and velocity, doesn't mean it's useful, right? So the thing is, if, if they can find a way to make the data can be trustworthy by the organization, and at the same time it's governed and secured, that's what's going to happen. So, I mean, it used to be it's called a data quality, we call it, right? When the structure, it's okay, everything is maintained in SAP or some system, it's good, it's coming to you. But now, you need to take advantage of the tools like machine learning, artificial intelligence, combining these algorithms and tool sets and ability of people's mind, putting their in there, and making it somewhat, that things can be happen to itself, at the same time trustworthy, we have offerings around that Accenture's developing place. For, it, it differs from industry to industry. Given the fact if the data coming in a some sec, it's only worth for 15 seconds. <laughs> After that it has no use other than you know, understanding how to prevent something, right? From a sensor data. So we have offerings putting into place to make the data you know, trustworthy, governed, secured, for organization to use it, and helping organization to get there. That's the what we're doing. The standard user of your tools, is it a, a data steward in the sort of the traditional sense, or is it a data scientist or data engineer who's trying to, for example, compile a, a body of training data for use in building and training machine learning models? Are, do you see those kinds of customers for your, your, your data veracity offerings, that, that, that customer segment growing? Yes, or, we see both sides of it, pretty much all, all walk of customers in our yeah. life, right? So the fact is, you, you, you have to hit the nail on the head. Yes, we do see that type of aspect. And also becoming, you know, the data scientist also, you're also getting another set of people, the citizen data scientist, right? The people. What is that? What does that mean? <laughs> That's a controversial term. Right. I've used that term on a number of occasions and a lot of my colleagues and peers in terms of other analysts right. bat me down and say, no, that demeans the profession of data science by calling it, but you tell me what, how so, your so, Accenture is defining wait, that. So, so, so the thing is, it's not demeaning. The fact is, to become a citizen data scientist, you need the help of data scientists. Basically, you, every time you need to build a model, and then you feed some data to learn, and then have an outcome to put that out. So you have a data scientist creating algorithms. But what we do is, in a citizen data scientist mean, Say so like if I'm not a data scientist, I should be able to take advantage of a model built for my business scenario, feed something data in, or my, whatever I need to feed in, get an output, and that program, that, that tool's going to tell me, go do this, or you know, don't do this kind of things. So I become a data scientist by using a predefined model mm. that's developed by an expert, yes. or minds of you know, many experts together. But rather than we, you know, I instead of going and hiring 100 experts, I go and buy a model, and able to have one person maintain or tweak this model continuously. So how can I enable that, that larger volume of people by using more models? So That's if, what. If a predictive analytics tool like you would license from whatever vendor, if that includes 
pre-built machine learning models for particular tasks in it. Does that, do you, do you as a user of that tool, do you become automatically a citizen data scientist or do you need to do something uh, in terms of do some actual active work with so, that model or data to, to, be, to, to, to live up to the notion of a, being a citizen like, data scientist? It's, it's a good question. So in my mind, I don't want to do it. I, my job is something else, mm -hmm. to make something for the company. Yeah. So my job is not creating a model and doing that. Right. My job is I know where my sets of data, I want to feed it in, and I want to get the outcome that I can go and say, like, I can increase my profit, increase my sales, that's what I want to do. Right. So I may become a citizen data scientist without me knowing, <laughs> right? I won't even be told that I'm using a model. I will told, take this set of data, feed it in here, it's going to tell you something. So our data veracity point of view, we have these models built into our, some of our platforms. You know, that can be a tool from Hortonworks, taking advantage of the you know, data storage tool or something, or any other, any other you know, our own algorithms put in. So that helps you to create and maintain the, you know, the, the data veracity to a scale of, you know, if you say one to five, one has been low, five has been bad, to maintain at the five level. So that's what the objective of Yeah, that. so you're democratizing the, the tools of data science yes. for the rest of us to solve real business problems. Right. So the data veracity side, so you're saying that the user of these tools uh, is doing something uh, to, uh, to manage the, uh, to correct or enhance or augment the data that's used to feed into these pre-built models to achieve these outcomes? Yes, I mean, they, they, they I wouldn't say they augment the data or not, they, they feed in a data a training data, it comes out with an outcome to say, okay. go do something. Okay. It, it tells you to perform something or do not. You know, it's still an action. Yes, comes out with an action to achieve a target. Very good. That's what it's going to be. You Very mentioned good. Hortonworks, and right. since we are here at DataWorks and the yes. Hortonworks show, tell us a little bit about your relationship with that company. Definitely. So Hortonworks is one of our premier, you know, strategic partners, and uh, we've been the number one implementers, their partners for the last two years in a row, uh, implementing their technology across many, many of our clients. And um, the, the, from partnership point of view, we have jointly developed offerings. So what Accenture is best at, we are very good in industry knowledge. And so with our industry knowledge and with their technology together, what we're doing is we're creating some offerings that you can take to market. For example, we used to have data warehouses like using Teradata and, and, and older technology data warehouses. They're still good, but at the same time, people also want to take the structured, unstructured data, images, files, and to be able to incorporate into the existing data warehouses and how I can get the value out of the whole thing together, right? Mm -hmm. So for that, that's where Hortonworks type of tools comes to play. So we have developed offerings called Modern Data Warehouse taking advantage of your legacy systems you have, plus this new data coming together, and immediately you can create an analytics case, use case, to do something. So we have pre-built programs and, you know, and, the, and the different scripts that take in different types of data, moving into a data lake, Hortonworks data lake, and then use your existing legacy data and all those together help you do create analytics use cases. So we have that called data modernization offering. We have one of that. And then so we- So pre-built models for specific vertical industry requirements or specific business function, predictive analytics, anomaly detection, and natural language processing, am I understanding correctly? Yes, we, we, we have industry-based solutions as well, but also to begin with the data supply chain itself, right? To bring the data okay. into the, into the lake to use it. And that's one, one of the offerings so we are uh, playing. data pipeline, it's like yes. a prepackaged uh, uh, models and uh, rules and so forth. Right, it's a prepackaged you know, data ingestion, yes. um, you know, transformation, that you know, prepackaged to take advantage with the new data sets along with your legacy data. Excellent. That's one offering called data modernization, data modernization offering. And that to cloud, right? Yes. So we can take to cloud in a Hornworks in a cloud, it can be Azure, AWS, or HP, any cloud, mm -hmm. plus moving data. So that's one type of offering. And today actually we announced another offering jointly with Hornworks Atlas and Ranger tool to, to help GDPR compliance. Oh. 
right? Can you explain what that tool does specifically to help customers with GDPR clicks, and does it work out of the box with Hortonworks Data Steward Studio? Well, to me, I, I'm, I'm, I, I, can, I can get your answer from my colleagues that who okay. are much more <laughs> technical on that, but the fact is that I can tell you functionally what the tool does is. Okay, please. Um, so you, today the GDPR is basically, you, the, there's a regulations about, you need to know about your personal data. Yes. And you can control, you have, the des, you, know, you, you have your own destiny about your personal data. You can call the company and say, forget about me, <laughs> if you're an EU resident. Or say, modify my data. They have to do it within a certain time frame. If not, they get fined. The fine can be up to 4% of the company's so it's going to be a very large Global fine. Yeah. So what we do is basically take this tool, put it in, working with Hornworks, this Atlas and Ranger tool, we can go in and scan your data lake, and we can scan at the metadata level, and come and tell, you know, showcase, put it in a place, then you know, where is your personal data hmm. information about a consumer in you know, lies, and now I, have, I know everything. Because you know, it used to be in a legacy, Situation, you know, your data originates someplace. Somebody takes it and put it in a system. Then somebody else download to an Excel. Somebody will put it in an access database, and these kind of things. So that you now your data is, you know, pollinated across. You don't know where is that lies. In this case, in the lake, we can scan it, put this information, the metadata and the lineage information. Now you immediately know where is this data lies. When somebody calls, Rebecca calls and say, no longer use my information. I exactly know it stores in this place, in this table, or this column. Let me go and take it out from here so that Rebecca doesn't exist anymore, or whoever doesn't exist anymore. So that's the, the, the idea behind it. Yeah, and also we can catalog the entire data lake, mm -hmm. and we know not just personal information, other useful information, everything about all the dimensions as well. And we can use it for our business advantage. So that's what we announced today. We're almost out of time, but I want to finally ask you about talent, mm -hmm. because this is a pressing issue in Silicon Valley and, and beyond, in, in really the tech industry, finding the right people, <laughs> putting them in the right jobs, and then keeping them happy there. Yeah. So yeah. recruiting, reta retaining. Yeah. What's, the, what's Accenture's approach? Right, especially this area, talent, yes. is the hardest part. Yes. Thanks to Hornworks and Hornworks point of view. Send them to Detroit where the housing is far <laughs> more. <laughs> I mean, less not expensive. a bad idea. Exactly, but the fact is, we're no, both Detroiters. Yeah. <laughs> what we did was we, we Hortonworks, we basically Accenture has access to Hortonworks University, all the educational aspects. So we decided we're going to take that advantage, and we're going to enhance our talent by bringing the people from our, retraining the people, taking the people to the new, people who know the legacy data aspects to take them to see how we take to the new world, right? So that we have a plan to using their Hornworks together, the university, the materials and their people help. Together we're going to train about 500 people in different geos, 500 per piece. And uh, also our you know, delivery centers in India, Philippines, these places. So we have a larger plan to retrain the legacy into new as well as go and get people from the out of the college and stuff, start building them from there, from an analyst to a consultant to a technical level. And so that's the best way we are doing. And actually the group I work with, uh, you know, the, our group technology officer, Sanjeev Vora, he basically in charge of training about 90,000 people on different technologies you know, around that space. So it's a magnitude is high, but even the, that's, that's our approach to go and train people and take it to Are you training them all client. to be well-rounded professionals in all things data? Are you training them for specific specialties? Very, very good question. We do have this called Master Data Architect Program. Mm. So basically in the different levels, after these trainings, people go through, especially you have to do so many projects, come back, have an interview with a panel of people, and you get certified within the company at certain level. Mm. At the Master Architect level, you go and go and help a customer train their, you know, transform their data transformation, architecture, vision, where do you want to go to that level. So we have that program within our university and that's the way we take it step by step to people to that level. Great, yeah. Vimal, thank you so much for thank coming you. on theCUBE. It was really fun talking to you. Thank you so much, thank Great. you so much for having me. Thank you. 
I'm Rebecca Knight for James Kobielus. We will have more, well we actually will not have any more coming up from DataWorks. This, is, this has been the DataWorks show. Thank you for tuning in. And Signing we'll see you next time. Now.